won it. For real. Yeah, right. It was great, though. Man, you amazing. I think I'm in love. Yeah, right. You do not love me. <laughs> no, you love somebody else, though. Who? You know who I'm talking about. What? You tripping. No, I'm not. <laughs> I don't love her. Yeah. I want you. <laughs> I want you again. Come on. Yeah, all right, you silly. <laughs> when are we gonna do this again, though? For real. I'm gonna do it every day. You know, you don't got time for no every day. All right, every other day. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty self. Thank you. Let me hold up. I ain't even butt my pants up. I, <laughs> I thought he was going again. I ain't. No, I got things to do. <clears throat> Need to be doing me. Ooh, I just did that. I'm ready to do, I'm ready for round two. What's up? What's up? I'm ready for round two. What's up? <laughs> yes. Woo. All right. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's whatever hey. it's going to be. Oh, let me call you back. I know you hear me calling you. Why you keep on ignoring me? What did I do to you for you to treat me the way you do? What do you want? I told you you getting on my nerves. Leave me alone. You know what? You just keep on ignoring me. And you being real disrespectful. You know why I'm being disrespectful? Because every time I see you, you come up to me with this pregnant mess. I told you, stay out of my face. Look, I ain't your first and I definitely won't be your last. Now you need to go holler at Brian about this baby because it ain't mine. You know what, Keith? You are something else. Did you forget we had sex? Or are you scared my sister gonna find out? That's what it is. First of all, you ain't gonna let me forget. Second, I don't care if your sister find out. You need to understand that when we had sex, that was a one night stand. I'm out of here. Uh, wait, Keith. What? My water just broke. Wait. Please, can you take me to the hospital, please? Cut. Please. How you doing? Fine, 
My name is Sean Reed. My daughter went into labor. Her name is Tiffany Reed. I'd like to see a doctor, please. Please have a seat, and I'll have the doctor. Thank you. Have a seat, baby. Hello, doctor. Here are the parents of Sean Reed. Please come to the lobby. You'll be up momentarily. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. It's gonna be all right. Hello, the Reed family. Yes. yes. Congratulations. Your daughter just delivered a baby boy. I'm so excited, a baby boy. Baby. Oh, man, that's wonderful. How much does the baby weigh? He weighs five pounds, three ounces, Mrs. Reed. Unbelievable. Hold up. Hold on a minute. Don't get too excited. There were some complications with your daughter while in labor giving birth. What, what are you talking about, dog? What do you mean complications? Is my daughter and grand, grandson going to be okay? We detected some sort of drugs in your daughter's blood system. Right now... We don't know what type of drugs until the test results come back. This may be the reason the baby's having breathing problems. There's something else I would like to address. Your daughter is a minor. Why are there drugs in her system, sir? Drugs? I mean, uh, your guess is as good as mine. I mean, I can understand weed, but anything else, I'm clueless. Yeah. I have no idea. None. I can't and, and yes, she's a minor, so I'm, I'm, I'm very concerned with that myself. Yeah. Well, sir, as soon as the nurses are finished cleaning up, someone will come out and let you know when you will be able to go in to see them. Thank you, Doctor. I really appreciate that. Oh, oh. This is crazy. Hey, baby, how you feel? You asked to see me? I'm okay, Dad. Yeah, I asked to see you. I wanted to know, was Keith out there? No, Keith's not out there. Why would Keith be out there, Tiffany? Your boyfriend Brian walked in as I was coming back here to see you. Dad, Keith is the one that brought me to the hospital. You mean to tell me he's not in the waiting room? No, he's not, babe. Dad, I have to tell you something. You have to promise not to tell nobody. What's your problem, babe? Brian isn't the father of my baby. Keith is. Are we talking about the same Keith who has kids by your sister Michelle, Tiffany? Are you dumb or just plain crazy? Oh no, Dad. I oh, know. I'm sorry. I, it just happened. It just happened. Did you did you even get a chance to see the baby? I didn't get to see him. Like, as soon as he came out, they just rushed him out of here. That is something wrong with my baby. What you going on, Mr. Reed? Hey, how are you doing? Hey, baby. I'm sorry that I wasn't here while you was in labor giving birth to our baby. But as soon as I found out, I rushed over here as soon as we right by your bedside. It's okay, Brian. I know you did everything you could to be here. Did you get a chance to see the baby yet? No. I came straight down to you first. I didn't either. I need to know what's going on. Like, if you know something, Dad, please tell me. Tell me what's wrong. Tiffany, they found drugs in you in the baby system. Drugs? Yes. The doctor ran some tests. Right now, he's waiting for the results. Now, the baby's fine as far as we know. But right now, it's a possibility. Well, unfortunately, the, the baby is still, he, he can't breathe on his own. He can't breathe on his own. They have him hooked up to a machine. A machine? Yes. So my baby right now is on a breathing machine. Yes, he's on a machine. No, 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 no. Brian, go find our baby right now. Bring him to me, please. Wait, did, did, did you say a breathing machine? That don't sound too good. Mr. Reed, where is my son? All right, calm down. We have to be patient. Oh. Right. Mr. Reed? How you doing, darling? Okay. This is the baby's father. He's concerned about his, the welfare of his son. Hello, sir. Nice to meet you. Congratulations on the birth of a baby boy. The test results are back. 
I've looked in the, at them. I now know what the problem is, Mr. Reed. Your daughter used crack cocaine. Oh, God. Crack? Right. Crack cocaine? Did you say crack? You don't do no crack? I'm not on no crack. You're lying. Why are you lying? Sorry, young lady. The test results don't lie. Dad, don't, don't believe him. I'm, no, no. He's lying. That, no, that doesn't Talk make sense. Give us a moment to talk this over. Sure. We ask you, but I sure. to come back in with your way. Oh, he's lying. Surprise, Marlon! Come give your mama a big hug. Oh. Hey, Mom, where have you been? I miss you. Oh, I miss you too, but you do miss your mama. Yeah, well, I'm sorry I haven't been around lately to see you. But I really do miss you. Will you ever forgive me? Yes, Mommy, I forgive you. But I just be wanting you here where I can see you. When are you going to live with us? I know. I'm sorry. But uh, we'll talk about me living with you another time, okay? But for now, I got something I want to show you. You downstairs. Come on. Surprise, Marlon. Meet your baby brother, Josh. A brother? I didn't ask you for no brother. I asked you for a new bike. I know you didn't ask me for a little brother, Marlon. But you had one. Aren't you happy? Now you got somebody to play with. No, I'm not happy. Marlon. I understand why you're upset, but I am still your mother at the end of the day. You understand? Listen, Marlon, I don't want you to ever think that I don't love you. I love you more than life itself. And just because you don't see me around, baby, doesn't mean I don't think about you or miss you. Look at me. I miss you every single day. I wish I could be here with you. But just, just do me a favor, okay? When you grow up, you're a grown man, God willing. I just want you to remember this conversation. And know, know that I did what's best for you. Can you do that? Thank you, baby.
I'm trying to go up tonight. You know what I mean? I got that good, good. I got that good weed. I promise you. What you got that new? Listen, they got salad. I'm telling you, I got that Nancy Reagan. I'm on the Obama. And I got, I got that Betty White. You heard? Oh, oh my God. You trying to be a golden girl? 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 You trying to be a Hey, Marlon, meet your father. Boy, go over there where he can see you now. Mommy, I don't want to go over there. I don't know him. Tiffany, now you know this is not my son. Why would you bring this boy in here? Why is he here? You and I both know I am not this boy's father. Get it together. You know what? You get on my last nerve. You make me so sick. How you want to sit up here and sit there in front of him? And in front of all these people. Well, you born in front of all these people. people? You don't know what to say out your mouth. It's the truth. No, it's not. You are his father. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Don't walk away from me. Get up out of here. This is my and house. Take your son you ain't gonna put me out of my house. Okay. I live here. I live here. Get your hands off of me. by putting my thumb in my mouth. Like, this is my thumb. I can do what I want with it. I know it's your thumb, but this is my classroom. So that means you do what I tell you to do. So take your thumb out of your mouth. <laughs> whatever. Did you just say whatever to your teacher, Marlon? Come up to the front of this classroom. I said come up to the front of this classroom. Now going back to your seat. Next time, suck your thumb. <laughs> you think you're gonna be my rapist, right, Wilson? Right. So okay, so that's he'll be alright. So y'all just go ahead and settle down. We're gonna be into math today. So everyone, take your math. Tiffany, can you hear me, baby? Yes. We here, baby. We here. We here for you, yes. Tiffany. Babe, say a prayer. Come on. Come on, she reads us. Come on. Dear Lord, yes. I will never question anything that you do. Please, Lord Jesus. Please grant my daughter. Yes, yes. The mercy and grace to make it through this, Lord Jesus. I pray that you forgive her all her sins and she reap the benefits of having everlasting life with you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. That's baby. 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 Tiffany. Tiffany. Oh, no. Tiffany. Oh, God. Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany. Please help us. Please. Somebody, Tiffany. please. Doctor. Please. Tiffany. Please. Tiffany. Somebody help us. Oh. Tiffany. No, no, no. Please, please. Baby. No, no, no. No, God. <laughs> Thank you.
I'm with you, man. Lil Marlon, how you holding up? What's up, Uncle Keith? I'm coming along just fine. I'm just trying to process this whole thing. Yeah, I know, man. My heart go out to you and the family, man. Condolences. You know, your mother, she really loved you, boy. She up in heaven smiling down on you right now. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Where's Don Rick Ron and little Tina at? Oh, I, I left them home. You know, I, I just decided to come hang out, chill with you. I wanted to talk, man. You think we could take a walk or something? You yeah, sure? Uh, uh, oh, Mr. Reed, uh, you think we could take a walk, man? I, I just want to step off and talk to little mom. I don't have no problem with that. Just make sure you don't take them too far. I won't. Hey, my condolences go to you, too. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Come on, mom. What's up, Uncle Keith? What do you want to talk about? That's so important that we need to take a walk. What, I done something wrong here? Nah, you ain't do nothing wrong, man, but I know this couldn't have came out of worse time, but I've been wanting to talk to you about something serious for a long time, but I just ain't not to tell you. For a long time, you've been calling me Uncle Keith. I'm not your uncle, Mom. I'm your father. What, Uncle Keith? Stop playing. I'm really not in the playing mood right now. I'm not playing. You know, after some time passed, this is how your mother wanted it. You know, when you were first born, man, it was impossible for me to take care of you. I, I had Don and Rick. I was already their father, you know? Wait, but they are my cousins. Now you're telling me you are my father? So that means they are my brothers and cousins, and Tina is my sister. Yeah, yeah but, but I don't want you to take the blame out on anybody. Not your grandparents, not your cousins, your brothers. It's all on me, man. I love you. I, I want you. I want you to be my son, man. I'm your father. Man, leave me alone. I never want to speak to you again in my life. What? Molly! I just want to rekindle the relationship, man. Molly, man, good to see you, nephew. <laughs> I don't sure. get to see you that much, man. For sure, Uncle Joe. And what you been up to, man? Mm, nothing much. Nothing, nothing much. much. Ain't what I heard. Ain't What's, what I heard. What'd you hear? Look, your Aunt Penny, she told me about the things you've been going through. Okay? I'm here to tell you, we love you. We don't want anything to happen to you. We only want good things to happen with you. Okay? Okay. Them streets ain't out. These streets ain't for you, brother. You got a lot to live for. Little brother. A lot of things that are going on, but son, think about this. Think about your life. You got a lot of living to do. You read in the paper about these boys out here getting shot up on the streets every day. I don't want to read about you. Well, well. You promise? I promise. That's all I can ask. But you got to believe that yourself. You have to believe that. You have to be the one to make that happen. Hello, my name is Keisha. I'm Aaliyah's mother. This is my husband, James, that you met at the front door when he let you into our home. So here it is. Aaliyah said that you're pregnant. We want to know a little bit about you. It's not much to say. I'm 16. I live with my grandparents. I'm in the 10th grade. There's not really much to know about me. Yo, why is you laughing? This is not a funny matter. This is a serious matter. Our daughter is pregnant with your child. You come in here, pants sagging, flumping on a couch. Take this serious. This is serious, because I'm taking this serious. I'm taking it serious. I can't tell. Mom, Dad, why are you coming at him like this? Because we grown. He did not do this on his own. Leo, please. If anything, I'm the one y'all should be growing right now. Please. Too grown. That's why we here now. And here it is. You're 14 pregnant. Here's 16. Keep your legs closed and we wouldn't be having this conversation. I'll take care of this child. I'll take care of my child. How? I'll get a job. Get a job where? At McDonald's? Anywhere that's hired. You ain't even got a high school diploma. You can calm down. You gonna be a dropout? You're not gonna talk to me like this, alright? We gonna talk to you any kind of way we want to in our house about our door. Yo, what's good, youngster? I see um, Papa let you come out for a little bit, hang out with the big boys. Man, whatever, look, I'm ready. 
You ready? What you ready for? Uh, to get in the game. You know, I've been out here watching you. I've been surveying the area, looking out for cops and keeping my shots still the stash, you know? I'm ready. You ready? It's slow for that. You think because I let you come out here and chill with me from time to time, you know what's going on? You're not ready for this. You're not ready for what these streets gonna bring to you. Look, I've never been more ready than I am right now, please. You know what, that's your problem right there. Not paying attention to your whole surroundings. You just can't watch out for the fiends. You gotta watch out for the popo that's riding by. You gotta watch out for the stick-up kids that's riding by, waiting for you to slip so they can jack you. And I have been. You ain't ready, you playing. You playing. You ready. Let me ask you a question. Why, out of all the dudes that's out here trapping, why you wanna work for me? Cause you're like the coolest one. Got the decked out ride, got the brand new clothes. You get all the girls, and everyone out here respects you. I know I'm probably gonna regret this. This is 500. Bring me back 375. Yo, come here. Don't mess with my money. I'm telling you, if you mess up my money, I'm gonna bring something your way that you or Papa ain't gonna be able to handle. You dig what I'm saying? Take this moment to make it your ending. The choice is yours. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will and can be used against you in a court of law. Young man, didn't I just see you six months ago? Yes, sir. And here you are again with violations to your probation. You've managed to disappoint your grandparents Look at them back there. Disregard all the breaks that your probational officer has given you. Yeah, your honor. No, 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 no. I talk, you listen. Maybe 12 months in disciplined juvenile detention will teach you a lesson and steer you in the right direction. No, oh, please, just give me another chance. That's my decision. No, please. Give him a break. I'm sorry. God, please. What did I get myself into? Please.
about your life. You have a lot of living to do. I just want you to remember this conversation. Don't 